Hi guys, my name is Gracie and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've decided to start off with a Meet My Pets video. I hope you all like it. I've decided to start off with Ruger. He's my male Siberian Husky. He's two years old. He's very pretty and he gets lots of attention because he's very pretty. And he's very sweet but he can be very sassy. And he's not super cuddly. He's cuddly in his own way and on his own terms, but he's a good boy. So this is Ruger. Okay, this is Kimber. She's my female Siberian Husky. She's a rescue, but we think that she's about three or four. Four now, if we were right about her being three. Um, she was rescued off the streets of Miami. They found her as a stray, and she was beat up and all dirty and icky. But she's very sweet, but she's also very sassy. And she yells at you if she's tired and you start messing with her. She'll yell at you, especially if you touch her butt. Like, well, like that when she's tired, she'll get really mad. But in general, she's really sweet. And I had to move the camera down here because she doesn't ever look at cameras. She's very bad about that. It's impossible to take photos of her or with her because she just turns around the other way. And she's not very good at cooperating. She doesn't sit still, really. Surprised she's just lying here right now. I gave her treats, so. But this is Kimber. This is Leo. Um, we've had him for quite a while. We got him when I was three. He is a male Shih Tzu, though he really doesn't look like a Shih Tzu, like at all. Like a little bit of a resemblance, but. He's really sweet, but he's also kind of, he's not shy, but he's very skittish about things. Like on tile, if he hears his nails on the floor, it scares him. And if there's a loud sound, it scares him. If someone moves too fast, sometimes it'll scare him. And also when my phone goes off, it scares him, like, a lot. He is such a good boy for the most part. He has some issues with going potty on the floor, but we're working on it. But yeah, this is Leo. Okay, now we're on to the animals that are in this room. So this is actually my first reptile ever. This is Echo, he's my male crested gecko. Um, he's really sweet. I've had him for just a little bit over a year. I'm not sure his exact hatch date because I got him from a store that has a lot of exotic reptiles. He's very good though. He's never had any issues. He's, for the most part, he's a pretty good eater. We had an issue once where he wouldn't really eat, but we got him back to eating from that. He's still kind of small, but crested geckos can take a while to grow. But he's gotten a lot bigger since I first got him. He used to only be that long. But now he's as long as my whole hand. So yeah, this is Echo. This is Fitz. He's my male central bearded dragon. Um, he is a citrus morph. There's some more fancy things in there than just citrus, but I'm just going to say citrus for now. He is not a year old yet. His birthday is actually in September. He was born 2018. And he's a very, very good eater. Of course, he loves his worms and his crickets and all his insects and everything. But from what I hear, many bearded dragons are very picky about their greens and their vegetables. He loves them. Especially mustard and collard greens is what I mainly give him. And he loves them both. He's not very picky about things. His favorite thing, though, would be raspberries. He really, really likes raspberries. But yeah, this is Fitz. This is Atlas. He is my tangerine morph leopard gecko. <laughs> Fitz is over here staring at him. He doesn't like when I handle other lizards in front of him. He's quite rude. Um, Atlas was actually my fourth reptile. I had a leopard gecko before him, but I didn't realize when I got him, 
he had cryptosporidium, also known as sticktail disease. Fits. But now we have Atlas, and I'm very happy with him, and he seems very happy too. He... I have to be very careful in handling him. He's still kind of getting used to it. He has a tendency to kind of run off me. So that's why I have like my legs right here in case he falls. When I first got him, he was actually pretty aggressive. Every time I would stick my hand, what are you doing? Every time I would stick my hand into his enclosure, he would lunge forward at me and try to bite me. Um, but we've resolved this issue. Sometimes I think I think there's something wrong with his eyes, not just because he mistakes me as food, but because he can't hunt on his own. I have to, I almost have to use tongs. Sometimes I can set it down in front of him and he can get it, but I have to move it really close to him and if it walks too fast, he won't really chase after it. And he always misses. Sometimes he bites the tongs too instead of the worm. So I have tongs that are kind of squishy at the top so that when he bites it, it doesn't really hurt him. But yeah, this is Atlas. Next is Mimo. He is one of my four purple pincher hermit crabs. I currently have three underground and I'm not going to dig them up even though only one is molting because of the fact that it'll stress them out a lot. Hermit crabs are very high stress animals so I don't really handle them. This is one of the few times you'll ever see them out. The only time that I have them out of their enclosure except for Mimo being out right now is when I'm actually cleaning their enclosure because I have to take them out in order to do that. But, yeah, this is Mimo. This is my newest member of the family. Her name is Millie. She is a winter white dwarf hamster. I'm not sure her age, but she's not fully grown yet, but she's getting there. She's very sweet, and she's a big fan of food. She was taking a nap, so she's kind of mad that I just disturbed her. But she's very sweet. She's still getting kind of used to handling and the idea of me petting her. But she is getting there. She's gotten a lot better. But yeah, this is Millie. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching.